welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my next video installment of my makeup artist series. I think this is going to be, <laughs> I think it's going to be like episode nine, maybe. I don't know. It'll be in the uh, description. description, yeah, of the video. But I brought my friend in, Jessica Vaughn. Hi. She is another makeup artist here in the Nashville area, and I thought it would be fun for a makeup artist to do a makeup artist face. So that's what we did. And I think we're going to start out with Jessica doing my makeup first. We wanted to do like a day to night theme. So she did daytime look on me and then I did a nighttime like smoky eye on her. Mm -hmm. So we are going to start out with Jessica's doing my makeup. Is there anything you want to say about like any techniques you did or uh, anything like that? No, she's, not really. She's, a, she's this is her first time. She's I've a YouTube virgin. So. I'm like, <laughs> such a weirdo. <laughs> I think she did Don't great. Don't make fun of me the whole time. She did great. So if you are interested to see how she did my makeup, then keep on watching and be sure and subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss out where I do hers, which I will post sometime in the next week or so. So if you want to see how I got this smoky eye, keep on watching. So the first thing she did, she used all of my products because they were just there and I didn't see any reason for her to bring her own kit with her. So she got to choose what she wanted to use and she chose the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. So that's the first thing that she did and she just rubbed that all over my face. Then she decided she wanted to tone down a little bit of my redness so she got my Makeup Forever Color Correcting Step 1 Primer and she is just stippling that on my face. This is a Morphe stippling brush. I'm not exactly sure the number. Then she took my Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Cream Shadow and this one is in the color Coconut. And she started using a brush and then she realized, oh wait, this, this is yours, so I'm gonna actually use the applicator. Um, and she's just putting this on as my eye primer. Then she's setting it. She chose to set it with the MAC um, Studio Fix Powder Foundation in the color NC25. And then she remembered that she had not put eye cream on me, so she just used the one that I carry in my kit, which is the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. And then she also put um, lip conditioner on me, which is the also the one I carry in my kit, and it's the MAC Lip Conditioner. So she did a daytime look, and the colors that she used on my eyes were very simple, but I really like how it turned out. She just took Naked Lunch from MAC and she's using a Sigma E25 brush and she put it all the way from my lash line all the way up to my brow bone. It is a shimmer color but I really like the effect it gave when she put it all over my eyelid. And she decided to mix two colors to put in my outer V and my crease. So she used the Anastasia Beverly Hills colors and she mixed Warm Taupe and Red Earth. Um, and she is using a... I think she's using the same brush that she used all over my eyelid. Yeah, the Sigma E25, so very multi-purpose brush. Now she's just taking a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is one of their highliner pencils, and she had never used one of these before, and she was so impressed with how smooth it glided on. So this is actually, um, I think it's a brown color, like a brownish goldish color. So she just put that all over my, all along my lash line. And then she took Makeup Geeks Americano and she used a, I think it's a Sigma E65, um, the angled liner brush. She just set the liner with that color. And those two colors together made a really pretty effect. Now she's putting on lashes and she used the Kiss Number no. 11 lashes, which are my personal favorites that I carry in my kit. They are just so flattering on almost any eye shape. Then she went in with a MAC strobe cream and decided to put that on before she applied my foundation. And for the foundation today, she used my Lorac Perfection, the Sheer Perfection, and my color is PS4. And she just applied that with a foundation brush and then she pressed it in with one of my Beauty Junkie sponges. And again, this was the first time she'd used that and she was hooked. Now she's taking my Giorgio Armani Master Corrector in Orange. She's going to correct my under eyes before applying concealer. And for concealer, she chose to use my Smashbox Waterproof Studio Skin 24-hour concealer. And then she just blended that out with the Beauty Junkie sponge. Yeah. 
She did a very light cream bronzing, not so much contouring because it is a daytime look. So she took my Chanel cream bronzer, the Soleil Detan Chanel Universal Bronzer, and she just applied it very lightly on the perimeter of my face and blended it out with a sponge. She set my under eye with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And she set the contours of my face with a mixture of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and the Hourglass Luminous Light, Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. She kind of mixed those together and set the contours of my face. So after she set my contour and bronzed up my face a little bit, she applied blush. And for that, she used the Jouer blush in the color Bloom. And then she's just going in and setting the highlighted sections of my face with the Kat Von D shade and light palette. She mixed the first shade and the yellow shade. And she's lightly contouring my nose. She chose to use um, Cream Brulee the Makeup Geek Shadow, which I thought was interesting, but I kind of liked the effect that it had. I would have never thought to use that. So there you go, I learned something new. She's just buffing out my face with a large duo fiber brush with no additional product. And then she's gonna go in with highlights. So she mixed together the colors Moonstone and Summer from the ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Palette. Then she started working on my brow. She used my NYX Brow Gel um, and she mixed the colors Brunette and Blonde. And poor thing, I felt so bad. I'm like, you have a job for you on these brows. I am so sorry because I just don't have brows. And she took Americano on that same E65 brush from Sigma. Yeah, Sigma. And she put that on my lower lash line and then she smoked it out with a little bit of cream brulee. She used my MAC um, Giga Black Lash Mascara to meld my lashes with my fake lashes and put them on my lower lash line. And then for lips, she chose the Aquarius Pencil from Hourglass and then she used Viva Glam 2 Lipstick by MAC and she, she topped that with the Bare Minerals Groovy Gloss. And that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a very blessed day.